This is not only a matter for the Thai government, it's very much a matter for the international football community and the Thai football fans are part of our family. If this certainly if this was occurring in other countries in the world, I'm sure all those countries would be supportive of a Thai player. And we're calling on the Thai football fans. We thank Chiang Rai United and we're calling on everyone else to take their lead and step up here in Thailand and uh, uh, advocate for Hakim's rights. Please, uh, General Pryor, let Hakim go, uphold his internationally recognised human rights. Your country is a member of our football community. We should be working together, together to protect our players, not incarcerate them. เราต้องยื่นคําคัดค้านภายใน 60 We are asking Prime Minister Prayut to allow Hakim Al Arabi to return to Australia. He is a refugee. Allow him to return to Australia to his friends and his family and the Australian community. Just the Australian Embassy, there's a number of, uh, of uh, actors in the sport and human rights field uh, which uh, connect on a, on a weekly basis two or three times. The last two weeks has been very intense coordinating with Human Rights Watch, with uh, the, the different governments around the world, uh, with the trade unions, with the players' unions. Everyone's trying and doing their part in order to support uh, and make sure that, uh, that Hakim Al Arabi goes to, uh, to Australia as soon as possible. Well, I think Thailand is increasingly being seen by people around the world as not safe for refugees. And one of the issues that is here, of course, is that Hakim is a ref recognized refugee by Australia. He was traveling on uh, refugee papers issued by the Australian government. And that